The iPhone 13 line, so beautiful, so gorgeous, but so expensive. You know, iPhones are great, but what if you're not quite sure that you wanna get an iPhone 13? What else do we have on the market? For instance, Xiaomi, OnePlus, and of course, Samsung have some great smartphones as well, and more affordable than the iPhone. So today, I'm gonna show you the best iPhone 13 alternatives, and by the end of this video, by the end of this video, you will meet the real iPhone 13 Pro killer. So let's not waste any more time and get right into the video. Hey, what's up? My name is Arthur Weiner and the first smartphone that is somewhat better than the iPhone 13 is the OnePlus 9. I think the number one reason to get this smartphone specifically is the design very thin screen bezels and just one small dot for the front-facing camera instead of the big notch. This smartphone also has the tough Corning Gorilla Glass 5 and even though it's hard to break, it's very easy to scratch, so it will be a good idea to get a case for the OnePlus 9, but luckily we have a free one right inside the box. The second reason to get this smartphone is the display. Don't forget that the Plus 9 is cheaper than the iPhone 13 and it has the always-on 120Hz AMOLED display. The Plus 9 is powered with the Snapdragon 888 and the LPDDR5 RAM. This will be enough for virtually any task in 2022. In terms of battery life, the Plus 9 will last you at least one full day, but you can always lower the screen refresh rate to 60 Hz, turn on the power saving mode, and you are set for the next couple of days. And even though it's the 4500 mAh battery, this smartphone charges from 0 to 100 in 33 minutes, which is unbelievable, just half an hour. I guess it's about the same time Apple needed to recycle the iPhone design. The OnePlus 9 has three lenses. They teamed up with Hasselblad to create the main camera and the wide-angle camera. Therefore, it's not a surprise that photos taken with this device look incredible. The front-facing camera that was not changing for the last three years is a different story, and to simplify this, the camera of this smartphone is on a decent level. To summarize, the OnePlus 9 turned out to be a great smartphone that is also a nice alternative to the iPhone 13. In the US, this smartphone will set you back at around $500. I would say the next smartphone is the main competitor to the iPhone 13. More than that, this smartphone was released by Apple. So for the Apple fans, the best alternative to the iPhone 13 in 2022 is the iPhone 11. So seriously, no jokes here. You can still get it on the Apple store and after the iPhone 13 release, they've lowered the price and it's available starting from $4.99. So if you've never had an iPhone or you wanna upgrade your good old, for example, iPhone 8, then iPhone 11 will be a great option and here is why. To begin with, we have the IPS display, which means there's no flicker, which means you will get less headaches and eye strain. Here we have more natural colors, but you won't get this deep true black. However, I think that for most of you out there, this is not so critical. There is no 120 Hertz, but the base iPhone 13 model doesn't have it either, so you're not losing much from this point of view. The overall design looks similar to the iPhone 13, and you can always use a case. A few will understand that this is not the latest iPhone. In terms of performance, this guy is also great. A13 Bionic is enough and will be enough for any app and any game for the next couple of years for sure. I would not recommend getting the base 64 gigs model because the content is getting heavier, so it's a better idea to get the 128 gigs model. Battery life is not its strongest side, it will last you about five to six hours, which is like somewhere in the middle, not too bad and not so good. It's also a nice camera phone for this price. There's the wide angle camera, the main camera, and even though it doesn't have the 108 megapixel sensor, it takes decent photos with the main camera. The wide angle camera is not perfect, especially in low light, but you will get a great perspective with a little to no distortion. I personally love how the photos and videos look from this camera. You will also get the optical image stabilization and even 4K60 video. Same thing about the front facing camera. I would say that the iPhone 11 is as good as this card trick. Okay, it's not so good. Um, I'm so sorry, I just wasted your time. Um, 
but the iPhone is good though. So the iPhone 11, just $499, very good alternative to the iPhone 13 for all the Apple fans. Before the September Apple event, Xiaomi presented their new smartphone as well, and it has some features that none of the iPhones do, and this is the Mix the phone will meet you with a bunch of accessories right inside the box. You have the Type-C to 3.5 cable, the transparent case, and even the 120 watt charger, and even the screen protector. The display is very bright with nice contrast and 120 Hz is in there. It's protected with the Corning Gorilla Glass Victus, which got pretty close to the Apple's ceramic shield. But what surprises me the most is the hidden front facing the camera right beneath the display. And it's really hard to notice it when you're looking straight at the display. It's getting a bit noticeable from the side, but still, very well done, Xiaomi. Even on the Samsung Z Fold 3, which is by the way twice the price of the Mix 4, it's quite noticeable sometimes. Right inside the Mix 4 is the Snapdragon 888 Plus, which is basically the most powerful processor for Android phones today. So buying the Mix 4, you're getting not only the good looking design, but also the amazing performance. There is nothing too exciting about battery life, the 4500 mAh battery, However, I think it's enough for a full day of normal everyday usage. While playing games, it might take you like 4 hours until it's out of power, but luckily it charges from 0 to 100 in about 20 minutes. The camera of the Mix 4 is on almost the same level as the Mi 11, more than that, it has the built-in stabilization and a 5x optical zoom. Front facing camera is not very good, but it's fine considering the fact that it's well hidden in the display. And there is one very important thing to keep in mind, the price. Starting from 770, but still a reasonable price for this smartphone. The next smartphone is also not cheap, but it's the true iPhone 13 Pro killer. Maybe you already realized what it is, but nevertheless, it's the Huawei P50 Pro. We can easily call it the best camera phone on the market, at least according to the DxO Mark ranking. It has four cameras with a monochrome lens, wide-angle lens, telephoto lens, and the main lens. They've teamed up with Leica, so for mobile photographers and videographers, it might be the best choice on the market. The display is also pretty impressive. The pixel density, 120Hz refresh rate, and from little to no flickering, so if you don't like AMOLED displays, then you will enjoy this display a lot. Inside you have two options, it's actually four. Two options, the Kirin 9000 chipset or the Snapdragon 888, starting from 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. And you will also be able to use the NM type memory cards, but you don't have the option to go with the memory card slot and the extra SIM card slot at the same time, you have to pick one or another. Do you want an extra calls or extra memory? But it's good that we have the word extra in both options. The battery is 4360 milliamp hour and with a normal everyday usage, it will last you one or one and a half days. And keep in mind that it runs on the Harmony OS 2.0 that doesn't have Google services built in. However, the OS supports Android apps, so technically it's possible to install Google apps but it's not that easy for a common user. Downsides of the P50 Pro are the 5G, which is not there, but it might be not that critical for most of you, and the price, it's not cheap. So if you don't feel comfortable with the Harmony OS and you wanna have the usual Android experience, then check out the next smartphone. This one is not only a good camera phone, but also the best Xiaomi flagship. Yes, you've guessed it, Mi 11 Ultra. It's not cheap, but definitely worth its money. Inside the box, it's almost the same as the Mix 4, but the charger is just 67 watt. The smartphone fully charges in like 40 minutes, which is good enough for the 5000 mAh battery. Mi 11 Ultra also supports a 67 watt wireless charger, but you will have to pay extra money for the charger. It has a beautiful always-on AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate and 515 ppi. The camera is gorgeous. Once released, it took the first place on the DxO Mark ranking. Today, it's the second place right after the P50 Pro. So there is nothing controversial about this camera. On the back of the smartphone is the nice extra display, which is helpful for taking selfies on the main camera. And as a bonus, it's IP68 water resistant and it's powered with a Harman Kardon speakers. Inside, there's the basic set of the Snapdragon 888, 12 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. In simple words, there isn't a single app 
or a game that doesn't run perfectly on this device. So if you need a great camera phone plus a phone for playing games, then it's a great option for sure. Mi 11 Ultra is the real flagship smartphone, which is a great alternative to the iPhone 13 Pro. Yes, it's pricey, but there is definitely something to pay for. Hit the like button if you like the video, click on one of the pictures you see on the screen, and I will see you next time.